you mentioned you were in WWE for a short period of time. I think we were there at the same time. Yeah, we were. But how long were you there for? Uh, under contract, two years, TV one. Like gotcha. I was, I was down in FCW back before, you know, the before NXT came around and whatnot. And, uh, you know, FCW existed as a developmental territory for WWE, but it was, you know, NXT now is very visible. Mm -hmm. You know, if the guys and girls get on TV and even before it was on TV and was a part of the network, they were very visible to the fan base. Whereas FCW, you could be something. And then when they got brought you up, they could completely change you. And that mm -hmm. kind of is what happened to me when I got brought up. Uh, down there. So I was in FCW for like six months and then they uh, brought me up to their the ECW product they still had at the time. Um, you know, and it was one of those deals and I've I literally I showed up with hair as long as yours is now and uh, goatee braided kind of like I have it now and uh, you know, big, big ass biker jacket on. I had this kind of gimmick, this personality and uh, about five minutes before doors open, you know, it was just me, the guy I was beating up, Vince and uh, I think Johnny Ace and we're all it was four of us. It was five five minutes the doors open. All of a sudden, you know, they're sitting over there talking and we don't know should we leave the ring or should we do. And all of a sudden, Johnny's like, "Get come here." What's up, Johnny? Cutting your hair. I was like, "All right, I'm on TV tonight." And he goes, "Yeah." I was like, "All right." And they literally took me to the hairdresser and she chopped my hair and they he's told him to shave my face and leave the jacket and all these different things and it's not. I still was getting that opportunity, but everything that I'd kind of created in my mind as an identity was kind of taken away, mm. you know, and it, it is on me to go, all right, that's, I'm still got the balls in my court to a degree, but when they take it all away five minutes before doors open and then go, go, that's, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Especially if you, if you, you're comfortable with this character and this image and this is gimmick or whatever you want to call it. And fi like literally that night you're out on TV. Yeah. Five minutes. And you know, sometimes, you know, the, they'd bring guys, they'd bring guys up on the road, throw them out there in some dark matches, mm -hmm. maybe put on a house show loop to get an idea of what they were doing and what they were doing. And that wasn't my case. I literally got called and said, Hey, we need you for TV this week. Didn't know what was going on. And it wasn't till the morning of, uh, that Joey styles was there and he was like, Hey man, we'll, we'll get your info for your bio tonight. And I went, okay, I guess I'm debuting, you know, nobody told me anything. And then, like I said, that day, five minutes, four doors, take him away, cut his hair, shave his face, basically, break you down and actually when they took me into vince they were like vince is this okay and he goes oh, all yeah. right we go. we're gonna break you down to build you up okay i said okay you like it and he goes yes get out <laughs> all right see you later so what was the reason for you to cut your hair did you ever get one i have no idea none whatsoever like i said it was johnny and vince and they were sitting there talking i couldn't hear anything they were saying and like i said all of a sudden johnny's like come on kid we're cutting your hair and you know there was there was horror stories of guys that had refused to cut their hair, and a week later they were cut from the company. Frankie Kazarian, we talked. Okay, there you go. I talk about. I wasn't yeah. gonna bring up the name. You know, yeah, but, yeah, we <laughs> talked about it. He's been on the show talking about it. Yeah, you know, and that that's the case. You know, and 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 TNA guys specifically, I think, were tested. You know, they'd had a couple guys that had come in before them, and just really, can I say shit the bed? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> they shit the bed. You know, and they didn't. They didn't live up to whatever hype. Come guys coming from TNA to WWE. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. correctly, correct. Yeah. Uh, They'd come up and it was just like, you know, they would do whatever. They wouldn't meet whatever hype they had coming into the company and they'd failed very quickly, you know, and, and not that Frankie would have ever failed, but the hair thing was a story that was passed around that, you well, know, it becomes a, 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 my dick is bigger than your dick sort of thing. Do it because I told you to. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what See, happened. It'd be different though. If they said, okay, here's the idea, Lance, we're going to cut your hair. We're going to do this, this, and you know, we're going to, whatever, we're going to call you the accountant or what, at least you would know, okay, this is my new you yeah. know direction have some kind of mentality but just it. cut your hair and shave your beard and yep. go out there yep. you're now the short-haired clean face guy that yeah. you've never been i was big guy number three that's what i say <laughs> i was big guy number three in the video game i was the make your wrestler guy <laughs>